Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create the Chrome Liquify effect. Yes, the Chrome Liquify effect inside of Photoshop. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the right time to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so you'll miss any videos I'll be dropping after this time around. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is click on file and click on new like this and um, inside here i'll just four by five resolution 300 and rogb right that's the only thing i'm doing go to adjustment color and i'm just going to click a basic black color i'm not going to be specific on the color right so now this is where the action starts now go over to your ellipse tool click on the ellipse like this and draw an ellipse like this and um, Put it to the center of the page next thing you want to do is right click and go over to blending option like this and um, wait for it to load up wait for it wait for it wait for it and it's up inside here a couple of things you want to do let's start with the gradient overlay make sure you are selecting it and the option is grayed out and you're inside like this right now you can copy my settings here copy all these settings that you're seeing make sure it's the same thing as yours um for this you can leave it at um i'm just going to make this 90 yes 90 like this and um everything else stays the same like this 100 reverse everything stays the same right so before you hit the ok button go over to bevel and emboss click on it make sure you click on it it's grayed out like this see the commands by the right make sure all your settings are aligned with what i have here like this right so everything from the beginning to the end you're using the same settings right and this is the kind of control you want to use this one here right so uh for the highlight mode everything make sure you're using these same values and also for the shadows the next thing you want to do is click on the contour make sure it's grayed out like this and this is the one you should select not this first one this is the one there by default this is what you should select here right so when you select this um all things being equal click ok like this and voila this is what you have now click on the mask to mask it out now selecting the mask go over to your eraser tool this is the eraser tool here and what you want to do is erase a part of it like this and make sure your flow and opacity is set to 100 and you can erase like this right you can erase like this too but i'll just keep one side of it that's only this part now what you want to do is press ctrl t and right click to select the warp right so selecting the warp Make sure you warp like this, somewhere like this is good. You can warp somewhere along this line, it's fine and good. You can try out other angles too, For but for me, I'll just choose this. I would decide to do this, but it's not going to make sense. I'm just going to leave this the way it is like this. And I can bring this down and just leave this at this angle. When I don't click enter and it's done like this. So we have our first chrome liquify shape. So I'm going to create another one the same way I created this. So this time I'm going to click like this. Before I do anything, I'm going to rotate this this way to face this direction. And I'm going to repeat the same step I did with the first one, which is right click and click on um, blending option. Sorry, blending option. Blending option here. And inside here, I'm just going to use the same settings that I used the first time. So to start off, go over to gradient overlay which is this one here now i'm going to change my gradients now when you open up the gradients you're going to see different kinds of gradients now i'm inside of the green so let me use something that has um let me see something that has blue so i'm going inside of this blue and i'm using something that has let me use this i think this is perfect so um click out and click on bevel and emboss because you've used the same settings everything will be inside here like this and um what you want to do next is everything um, is still intact like this. Go over to contour and um, everything is still intact. So when you do this, press OK like this. But with this one, I'm going to do things differently. I'm going to apply, um, mask it out before for that. Let me make this big like this and um, shift it to this angle like this. Click on the mask and um, what you should do is click on the eraser. Make sure you are selecting the eraser not this one here the first one instead of um, selecting from the edge this time uh, this time ctrl z and i'm just going to move from the middle like this so i have this kind of effect and um, of course 
selecting this ctrl t and i'm going to click on wrap and i'm just going to take this inside like this to create this effect like this okay somewhere along this line is perfect and good to go click enter when you're done i'm just going to move this close to this right so the good thing about this is you can actually change the color change the size resize it make it bigger like i'm doing with this like this and um you can also flip it the, any way you want it to be right i could change the, the gradient and um the background also so for this i don't want this green so i'm just going to use another color for this for the gradients i'm using red so let me select this i think this is nice click ok when you're done and you see it changes immediately right so um an intuitive interface and you can change things around just the way you want it so with this one i'm just going to use um this color make it darker like this and um, click ok like this so having done that i'll go over to noise and um, click on add noise um i do this more often to create um to just spice up the designs like especially if you're working on abstract designs it goes um alongside with the kind of design you're making so basically i'm just going to move this in place here and i'm just going to position this here well like this and um, this is how i created this chrome liquify effect if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video just up above ciao